12-year-old boy is scheduled for an elective knee arthroscopy under GA. He has a history of masseter muscle spasm. The surgeon asked to do this case in an isolated surgery center. Is this a safe option? Yes, this procedure could be performed safely in a surgery center. I would, however, ensure the availability of an MH card and the potential for a quick transfer to an inpatient facility. What questions would you ask the patient and his family? I would ask about the circumstances of his prior masseter spasm and request any medical records. I would also want to know of any family history of malignant hyperthermia or myopathies. Would you give dantrolene prophylactically? No, I would not. It does not prevent the occurrence of MH or reduce its incidence. Additionally, there are several side effects such as post-op nausea and vomiting, potentiation of muscle relaxation, and delaying the diagnosis of MH. How does dantrolene work? It reduces intracellular calcium levels. The exact mechanism, as far as I am aware, is unknown. There are no medical records available. Do you check any labs, such as CPK? No, the results would not change my approach. I would use a non-triggering technique. Your resident gave succinylcholine by error, and you are not able to open the jaw. What could be the cause? The patient appears to have masseter muscle rigidity. This can occur in isolation, but undiagnosed myotonic syndrome, TMJ dysfunction, or onset of malignant hyperthermia should be ruled out. If you think this is malignant hyperthermia, how would you treat it? I would avoid giving any more triggering agents and immediately call for help and the MH card. Once arrived, dantrolene should be prepared and administered. In the meantime, I would continue to mask ventilate the patient and prepare for a nasotracheal intubation. Why do you need to intubate? It is not an absolute necessity, but if this is truly an MH episode, controlled ventilation would allow for compensation of the metabolic and respiratory acidoses that usually occur. How do you administer dantrolene? The initial dose of dantrolene is 2.5 milligrams per kilo. As the vials are only 20 milligrams each, I would have an assistant reconstitute the drug with sterile water. I can then repeat the dose every 30 minutes until resolution of symptoms up to 10 milligrams per kilo. What other signs or symptoms occur? I expect to see tachycardia, arrhythmias, hyperthermia, and hypercarbia. Hyperkalemia and renal failure due to rhabdomyolysis are delayed symptoms. Would you cancel the case? As this is an elective case, I would definitely cancel at this point. How do you confirm the diagnosis of MH? There are two confirmatory tests, the caffeine-halothane contractor test and genetic testing for a ryanidine receptor abnormality.